Okay, hello YouTube uh, people. Um, right, quick video just on how to get some use out of the digital channel on the MX1. If you've watched any of my previous videos, um, you'll know I'm always moaning that that not normally is like that, never gets used. Um, you can use it if you're routing audio through Ableton Live or Logic or whatever, you can route stuff to it that way. But if you're using hardware um, and you've not got like digital hardware, it's all analogy kind of stuff, then you're stuffed, you can't use it. But you can, and I don't know why I didn't think of this until now, because it's so flipping simple, it's not true. Um, so again, this is uh, thanks to somebody who commented on one of my videos, who had the same problem as me, um, and basically said, well, just buy an analog to digital converter. And I was like, duh, why have I not thought about that before? Um, so, I bought one, and it, it works great, but there is something you need to remember to do on the MX1 to get it to work. Um, I'm just going to unplug this one, so I'll show, show you the one that I bought. Um, so this is the one that I bought. It's Yingland 3D. Okay. Now, you've got to make sure you get the correct one, because there are some that do digital to analog, and some that do analog to digital. So what you've got to make sure is that your, analog, your inputs are analog and your outputs are digital okay not the other way around obviously it won't work that way around right this was £9.99 from Amazon and it works great you can plug in RCA left and right there or it's got the small jack uh, audio input which is the one I'm using and then on your outputs you've got coaxial which is the one that you would need for the MX1 because that's the connection to the MX1 you've also got an optical one as well um, so let me just plug this back in Give me a second. And the audio in there. That's still working, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had um, an old coaxial cable lying around that, again, I've not used for years since the days of getting first DVD players. Um, so, not only have I made use of a cable, I've also made use of Channel 6 on the MX1. Right. When I first plugged this in, I thought, oh, brilliant, I brought the wrong one, because it didn't work. I had no sound coming out of it. And then I suddenly re remembered reading somewhere or watching somewhere on YouTube, I can't quite remember, is that you need to make sure that the MX-1 is set on its sound cardy setting things to 48.1 kilohertz, okay? Because you can have it at 44, 48.1, I think it is, and 96. I think the default setting is 96. Mine was on 44, so to check, what you do is hold down the gain button, turn it on. Okay, just wait for it to come on. All right, and then you're in kind of setup mode. If you press the beat FX, the BFX button, it will tell you here what setting you are on. Okay, um, don't think you can see that. If I just hold that up there, there you go. Right, so I'm on 48. Now, when I first plugged my adapter in i was on 44.1 okay this is the sample rate thing and you can also have it at 96 which i think is the default setting so what you've got to do is make sure you're on 48 once you've set it at that press your start stop button okay it will reset itself and then you are good to go all you got to do is plug your audio out so i'm using this for the volker keys so i've just got the audio out from the volker keys going into the input of the converter, and then I've just got a coaxial cable going into the channel here, and here we have digital channel six playing the Volker keys, okay? I've now got a full set of faders I can use. Happy days for the sake of spending 10 pounds. Uh, shop around, because there are most of the ones I found on Amazon were about 15, but then I spotted this one for 10. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link to it in the description for anybody who is interested. Obviously, you will also need a digital coaxial cable. Again, there's going to be, a, I don't know, I've not looked at prices of those recently, but I, I'm guessing they're not going to be a massive amount just to connect your converter to the back of the MX1. Okay, that's it for this one. Short and sweet. Hopefully, that will uh, give you all some uh, Channel 6 digital channel joy on your MX1. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the videos around, listen to my music, buy my music, stream my music, helps me keep all this stuff going. Try and watch the adverts on YouTube, I know they're a pain in the arse, but it does give me a little bit of income on my channel and helps me to keep all of this stuff going. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.